All right. For all of us sweats out there, it is upon us. The $250,000 My Team Tournament Qualifiers Game Day 2 is here. And as the time of recording this, about an hour and a half. So I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm doing a video. You guys already know who I am. Maybe you don't. I'm Reaper. And today we're going to be detailing my squad for the $250,000 My Team Tournament Qualifiers for game day number two. So why not subscribe if you like hearing people like me talk about this bullshit game. But we're gonna go straight into it. We're gonna jump right ahead into the starting point guard. Point guard, this should come in no surprise. In my opinion, the best point guard in the game. 96 overall point guard shooting guard, Gary Payton. Of this guy, you had to go 12 and four. You had to win 51 games at the minimum in Unlimited. Now, the key thing you guys are gonna see with a lot of these cards, I don't really have a lot of badges and shoes at them at the time of recording this. Now, when the tournament actually happens, that may differ. But at the time of recording this, I don't have many badges and shoes on my guys. But Gary Payton, 6'4", 92 offense, 99 defense. 83 three ball, that's a lie. It's way higher. 89 mid-range, 70 driving dunk, 89 ball handle. Insane steal and perimeter defense. Great speed, speed ball acceleration. And lateral quickness. The badges, I mean, a defensive guy with pickpocket, pick doctor, clamps, talus defender, ankle breaker, menace, ball stripper. He's got catch and shoot. He's got glue hands. Interceptor, he's got mismatch expert, quick first step, and this Gary Payton, guys, in my opinion, is still the best point guard in the game, even with all the new releases of a John Wall, a Marcus Smart, a Penny Hardaway, a John Moran, even a Steve Francis. Uh, great release, can do it all on the floor. He's going to be starting for me as my sort of lockdown point guard. He'll handle the ball every now and then, but uh, we got Gary Payton coming in at the starting point guard position. Next up, we got to bring in one of the new guys, the 95 overall small forward shooting guard, Tracy McGrady from the new Mystic set now for any of you guys who don't know he happens to be my third fair basketball player of all time so this is super super cool tracy mcgrady a 6-8 shooting guard 96 offense 90 defensive rating so he's one of the few guys that your guys are going to see with the shoe 91 driving layup 87 mid-range 93 well 90 driving dunk i boosted his ball handle by four so he went from an 87 to a 91 81 block, 82 steal boosted his perimeter defense up from 86 to 89 79 interior defense Boosted his speed up from 90 to 93, boosted his speed up from 87 to 90, and then boosted his lateral quickness from 86 to 89. As for the badges, I mean, posterizer, blinder, slither, finisher, dead eye sniper, volume shooter, catch a shoot corner specialist. This one, I actually did throw a couple badges on this T Mac, including clamps, which he absolutely needed. He comes with a limitless spot, he comes with chef. I believe I also gave him. I can't recall exactly what was the other badge. I know I threw Hyperdrive Silver on him, though. This Tracy McGrady, Trey Burke Bay, 6'8", plays great defense, great length at that shooting guard position, and that's what makes him my starting two guard for the qualifiers. Speaking of length, we're going to be coming in with the 6'9", small four with a 7'4", wingspan. We're going to be talking about the pink diamond 95 overall, small four power forward from the alter ego set, Kevin Durant. Now, in my opinion, probably the best small forward of the game still this card, incredible release, can play defense, can slash, can do it also. Durant, like I said, 6'9", 7'4", wingspan, 97 offense, 89 defense. 93 driving layup, 94 mid-range, 93 three-pointer. Driving dunk, where he is going to have a shoe. I'm going to be giving him a shoe after this. That's going to boost his driving dunk. Also, ball handle 86, that's perfectly fine. Going to boost his steal up as well. Going to boost his speed with ball, speed, and lateral quickness. As you guys can see, those things do need to be upgraded. Uh, so he will have a shoe. Six all things rhythm shooter, clutch shooter, sniper, which is big, stop and pop big, green machine big, volume shooter good, catch shoot, corner specialist, hyper drive, blue hands, lucky seven, which I added, limitless spot up, downhill, quick first step, dead eye, hot zone hunter, silver clamps. The one badge I'm gonna need to add to him will be interceptor, but this Kevin Durant guys does it all on the floor with that 6974 wingspan. Arguably the easiest card in the game to score with. Definitely the hardest guy to contest in the game, and that's what makes Kevin Durant my starting small forward here today. It's just don't stop, don't they? We got 95 overall power forward center from the Mystic set, Giannis Antetokounmpo, the specific guy who may be watching this video that may really like this card. Giannis Antetokounmpo from the new Mystic set is a part of this squad. Obviously, you could say, well, you don't have the 75th one, so you don't get the shooting badge as well. That is particularly true, but we'll get into this Giannis in a second. 6'11", 93 offense, 99 defense. The best defensive card of the game. So I have a shoe on him as well. 93 driving lane, 79 mid-range. I boosted his three ball up to 72. We're going to talk about three ball a lot towards the end. 90 driving dunk, 84 ball handle. Great all-around st uh, defensive stats. Great rebounding. I boosted his speed to 92. Three ball to 89. Acceleration 92. And you guys would say, why do you boost stamina? His 88 stamina did kind of hurt a little bit when I used him the first time. 92 stamina. He's been one of the fastest players on my team. 89 lateral. Still good for Giannis card. Seven Hall of Fames. He only comes with six. 
You guys see that top one right there, Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot. I added that to Giannis from the Level 39 Badge Option Pack, and it has been absolutely huge. I've been able to green a lot of shots off the catch, especially with what we're going to discuss later with the three ball. So, Peerless Finisher, Post Rise, Pogo State Pro Touch, Unservable Fast Switch, Difficult Shots. I mean, he's got rim protect, he's got clamps, he's got an intercept with a quick first step. The best defensive card on the game, in my opinion, outside of maybe Bobby Jones or AK. Uh, he just does it all. He's so active on defense. He disrupts literally every play that he's a part of. And Giannis Antetokounmpo, my starting power forward. Yeah, we're really not done with the Mystic set yet because this is the big gun of the Mystic set. The lock in the 96 overall center locked. Hakeem, the dream, Elijah one. Yes, I locked in the set for my favorite center of all time. Did it cost all of my MT? You bet your ass it did. But we got Hakeem on the squad, 7 foot, 96 off his 99 defense. He's going to get a shoe as well. Going to boost his 3 ball up to 86. Going to boost his driving dunk up to 84. Got to boost his ball handle up. But great defensive stats, great rebounding. Going to boost his... He's got great... We're going to boost his speed of ball. We're probably going to boost either his speed or lateral quickness. But for a center, 85. Lateral, 85 speed is great. Post maintenance, drop step, rim protect, intimidator, hook specials, back down punisher, dream shake. He's got catch and shoot. Got clamps, intercept the rebound chaser. I ended up giving him a quick first step on gold and silver down hill. I really like his release. He gets every rebound and every block known to mankind. We are going to be using Akeem Olajuwon as my starting five. And this rounds out the starting five for the qualifiers. Now it is time to get in to the bench unit. I'm not going to spend too much time on these. We got 95 overall point guard Steph Curry coming off the bench as the backup. 6'3", 98, 91. We're not going to spend too much time here. But 97, three ball, 65, 98 ball handle, boost. This shoe boosts his perimeter defense up to 87. Boost all his speed sets up to 94. Boosts lateral quickness up to 89. So the perfect shoe for Steph Curry. Six Hall of Fame, catch shoe, difficult shot, circus series, dead eye, stop pop, green machine. He's got quarter specialist, pickpocket, blinder, chef, limitless spot up. He's got bronze clamps, bronze quick first step. This Curry, the moments when a silver mismatch and quick chain, which are super important for the way I use Steph Curry. In my opinion, one of the better offensive cards in the game in my top five for sure there's not a card that i think i scored more with it's steph curry he's gonna come in he's just gonna blitz people and steph curry's my backup point guard for the quality. speaking of the splash brothers let's bring in the second one we got 93 overall shooting guard spot for glitch clay thompson you can still make the argument that he's the best shooting guard in the game even with tracy mcgrady so he's six foot six 96 rebound, 90 mid range 75 driving milk is a lie great ball handle look at his defensive stats great speed speed ball acceleration lateral quickness and I mean, look at the badges. Hall of Fame catch and shoot, dimer clamps, quick first step. Literally every shooting badge. Like there is nothing this Clay Thompson can't do. I think everybody knows that everybody who's in qualifiers probably has this Clay Thompson somewhere in their lineup. So we don't gotta spend too much time on that. We the King of New York, and I ain't talking about who you may think I am. We got 96 overall, level 40 from season one. Carr, Mello, Anthony, still one of the best offensive cards in the game. 6'8, 93 three ball, 95 mid range, 85 driving, like 91 ball handle defensive stats. His rebounding should be in the 99s. 90 speed, 84 speed ball, 83 lateral. Definitely gonna get a shoe to boost those up. Difficult shot takeover, breaker, mismatch back for blinders, hot, sh hot zone hunter, volume shooter, rhythm shooter, all Hall of Fame, catch a shoot quarter specialist, lucky seven, limitless spot up. He's got silver quick first step, which I'm gonna upgrade to gold when by the time you guys are seeing this. I also gave him bronze clamps as well, so he could play some defense. Carmelo Anthony, insane release, insane rebounder. He does everything you would want a Carmelo Anthony card. Next up, we got another level 40. The big ticket, 96 overall power forward center, Kevin Garnett, 6'11". One of the better defenders in the game. 86 three ball, gonna get that boosted up, but it already is. You guys are gonna see the second. 92 mid range, 90 driving dunk. Great defensive stats, great rebounding, really good speed, speed of ball, and lateral quickness and acceleration for a big. A Hall of Fame, fearless center from protector, interceptor is big. He gets every steal. Intimidator, post rise, post lockdown, dream shake, fast switch, catch it, shoot. He's got rebound chaser. He's got gold quick first step as I added silver clamps as he comes with it. And I added dead eye. I will probably throw sniper on him by the time the tournament rolls around. But this Kevin Garnett is absolutely incredible and was well worth it. His release is so much better than people are saying it is. And Kevin Garnett is going to be the backup power Next forward up. for the squad. We got the Admiral, Biceps himself, 95 overall center lock, NBA 75th edition, David Robinson. Now, I had already had his, uh, his flash card, and I ended up selling him for a ton. But obviously, with the market crash that took place yesterday, I ended up scooping this guy for 240,000 MT. In my opinion, still probably the second best center in the game. At least primary center behind the key. 94 offense, 99 defense, 82 three ball. His release is one of the smoothest in the game. 91 mid range, 85 driving dunk. Great block and interior defense. 
Great rebounding, trust me, he rebounds way better than that. Great speed, speed of ball acceleration, and lateral quickness for a big. Gonna get all these boosted up with the shoe, guys, by the time the tournament rolls around. Post mix finish and drop set, rim protector, rebound chaser, post lock, tireless defender, catch it, shoot, glue hands. I ended up giving him gold quick first step. He comes with silver clams. There's gotta be a couple other guys that I probably will add to him, but we got David Robinson and in now here. For the, the last three set. off the bench, which I do run a last three off the bench. We got Penny Hardaway. Now, this one was very difficult between the Steve Francis that we got last week, the John Morant that we got yesterday, and Penny Hardaway, who we also got last week. It was a very, very close three-way race between those three to be one of the last three off the bench. But we got Penny Hardaway in 6-7 point guard, which is the big thing. 83-3 ball, 87 mid-range, 85 driving knock, 88 ball handle. He's way faster than this. Great speed, speed ball, acceleration, lateral quickness. He's got four Hall of Fame, diamond, eight throw, bullet, floor general, insane badge. He's got catch and shoot. He's got interceptor. He's got quick first step on gold. He's got a lot of great badges. This Penny Hardaway, you put him in a five out offense, he will literally baby any point guard in the game. You drop step him to death. This Penny Hardaway, gonna be one of the last drop the bench. We got the beard, the mystic set. But the best set of the year. We got 94 overall shooting guard spot for James Harden. If you guys know about his amethyst, you're going to know about this card. 91 three ball, 88 mid range, 85 driving on great ball handle, great defensive stats, great speed, speed, ball acceleration, great lateral. Four Hall of Fames, Lucky 7 Felix Finisher, Dead Eye Volume Shooter. He's got catch and shoot, difficult shots, hyper drive, clamps, quick chain. He's got Chef. He's got quick first step, sniper. He's got limitless spot up. There is nothing that this James Harden card can't do on the court. And I know you guys are saying, why is he one of your last three off the bench? Anybody who knows me knows I really do run all 13 players. I run them in different rotations. So even though Carmelo may be in the eighth spot, I may bring in the next guy we're going to talk about and vice versa. So this James Harden, while he may be on the last three, quote unquote, he's going to get a lot of playing time. Trust me, James Harden here on the squad. But certainly not least, the card that you get for collecting 1,700 cards in NBA 2K22, my team, the Pink Diamond 96 overall small forward power forward, Gerald Wallace, 6'7". I mean, 85 three ball is a lie. 84 mid range, 90 driving, no great ball handle. Look at the defensive stats. Could rebound, great speed, speed ball acceleration, great lateral quickness. Seven Hall of Fame, picked Dodger, Intimidator, off ball pass, house defender, ankle braces, limitless takeoff, fast switch, catch shoot, quarter specialist, clamps, interceptor, rebound chaser, quick first step, bullet passer, hyper drive. I ended up, I forget, there's a badge I threw on him, I forget what it is. But guys, Gerald Wallace is that dude. And I know you're going to say, well, he's your last guy. Trust me, like I said, Carmelo Anthony may be seen as the eighth man, but depending on how I feel, I could just bring in Gerald Wallace. Every single guy on my lineup gets playing time, and so it really doesn't matter what position they are on the team. Everybody's going to get a chance to play. This Gerald Wallace is absolutely a god, and that's why he's going he's gonna to round out my $250,000 MIT tournament qualifiers game day two. Squad. So we take one look here, one final look at the overall squad. It is looking absolutely incredible. You can make the argument it is one of the best teams you can make in the game. Now, one of the things I kept alluding to is the coach. We do have Coach Steph Curry, who boosts ball handle, three-point, mid-range, perimeter defense, driving duck, and defensive rebounding. So, I mean, the only, well, he doesn't boost driving duck for, for primary centers, but I mean... I mean, this Steph Curry, the best coach of the game. The Bulls playbook has got incredible plays. So when it comes to three ball, when it comes to some of these stats, Steph Curry is already going to make them so much better. And so that's going to round it out, guys, for this video. A rare video because you guys know I don't really make too many videos. But uh, hopefully this is out before the qualifiers. If not, if this is out after, hopefully I did well. If this is out before, hopefully I'm going to do well. But I want to thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate you guys. And if you do want to sub, if you do want to like, I would greatly appreciate it. This gave me the squad that we're taking into the $250,000. My team tournament qualifiers, game day two. And all I got left to say is, let's go to work. I'll catch you guys in the next one.